Hello everyone. I am here to tell you about my rapture dream. My rapture dream it was took place about a year ago. I've been postponing it because I don't want to go in front of a camera and there are so many excuses that I give on and so on. But the Lord has been just putting this on my heart that I need to get it out because it comes with a warning for everybody. And this rapture dream, um, I, it was about 2 a.m. in the morning when I had it. Um, I was, uh, of course, uh, laying down, but I could see my body laying down. And um, I, I didn't see the Lord. I only knew He was in the clouds and He was... And, and I kept on praising him and I kept on saying, I, even now I feel the love. He was coming and I said, Lord, you are coming. I am so thankful. And I, I praise you, Lord. I praise you, Lord Jesus. I love you. Oh, Lord Jesus. I was so, so happy and excited. But I, and then I saw my body rising up and it rose up about, um, I'm going to say uh, four feet of the bed and uh and of course i saw my my husband next to me he didn't even move in this dream uh but i but at that point i was just so focused on jesus that i just kept on praising him but as i saw my body going up about four feet then it stopped it got suspended in the air and then at that moment i was panicking and i was very stressed out uh, I was telling, asking the Lord why he wouldn't take me. Of course, I didn't get any answer, but I was so, in the, I was in distraught. I was really, really upset. And at that moment, I woke up. So when I woke up, I went to do my reading. Well, around, that was around five o'clock. 5 30 that i used to do my devotionals at that time and when i went to do that i i went to my window and i and i just like wanted to go to read it uh so i i i just looked at my phone because i wanted to see the time and you in the phone the app uh the bible app or uh, sent a a verse and the verse was on forgiveness i didn't think much of it I put the phone aside, then I opened the Bible. When I opened my Bible, it just fell right on forgiveness again. And I said, well, I thought I was thinking to myself, dude, what is this about? But a few minutes later, it just, this overwhelming feeling came to me that the Lord had not taken me up into his, into the rapture because I had people in my heart that needed to forgive and that was so to me that was so scary it was it was so heavy because I was thinking Lord I am saved but then at the same time I was not going to go because I had not forgiven these people and the Lord took me I went on my knees and the Lord took me as far as High, my high school years that I had not forgiven people and um, I know it's very hard because I found myself there but then I also uh, later on I I was watching you know a TV program uh, I'm gonna say evangelical program where the pastor was talking about uh, how we could forgive others and he was saying you forgive them by releasing them to the Lord by telling them by by releasing the releasing them to the Lord and asking the Lord to forgive you for re, for for having those people in your heart and having resentment um, and so in bless them and ask the Lord to bless them as in that they don't owe you anything at all that you as a matter of fact you owe them because that is the they are the reason why you are here asking for forgiveness and so at that at this time I want to say if you ever have somebody or have put somebody in your heart and you have res resentment or or any kind of you know even a thought behind it that you don't like somebody please ask the Lord to forgive you and that you release them to him to him to the Lord and that he 
uh, and that he may bless these people because you need to ask that these people come to the Lord, that they open their hearts to the Lord so they can also be saved. I encourage you to do that because it is it, that feeling that I had that it was so heavy in my heart. I was so so sad and upset that the Lord had not taken me with him. It, it is horrible. I do not want anybody to have those feelings, but please ask the Lord for forgiveness and go back because go back, ask the Lord to take you where your heart is. The Lord said we have to forgive people 70 times seven. So that's so many times. And sometimes you wonder, do I have to forgive them when they continue doing the same thing? And I think the answer is yes. That's what the Holy Spirit has put in my heart. Um, also, um, if you, you know, if you, if you don't know the Lord and you want forgiveness from the Lord and you want to know how to get saved, well, this is, could be a time for you to ask for forgiveness. You can follow this prayer, you know, oh, but it's something like this. You say, Lord, I come to you to ask you for forgiveness. Please forgive me of all of my sins. Come into my heart. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. And because from now on, I want to follow you all the days of my life. I want to create a relationship with you. I want to be your son or your daughter. And I want to dwell with you. I want the Holy Spirit within me. Please fill me in with the Holy Spirit. And that I may do what you ask me to do. Once you have asked the Lord, you are saved. Because we are saved by grace and not by our doings. Uh, that's why Jesus died. Jesus died on the cross to save us so we could have life and life more abundantly here and eternal life because Heavenly Father gave His only begotten Son, who is Jesus Christ, to die for us. And whosoever asked for, uh, uh, whosoever come to ask for forgiveness, He will take, He will, you will have eternal life. And so once you have done that, go to a Bible based church and ask them to water baptize you and that you may get baptized and once because we have to declare Jesus publicly that he is our Lord and Savior we got to tell everyone and believe me once you have this 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 no no this this is a no that you know that you know the Lord you know him that he is your Lord and Savior you will have this a joy that it doesn't matter what goes on in your day you will have peace and you will have you, you will bless others through your whatever you do and also you will ask for blessings for others it is wonderful to know the Lord because he loves us he loves us all and he wants us to go back and I assure you that once you are saved you will want to tell others about about he, the goodness of the gospel you want to let them know that to come because the day is near he is coming so soon and this is not about religion look it doesn't matter whether you belong to any denomination or you or you have a culture or you have a different language or whatever it is he doesn't care he knows you by name he knows that you're his son or daughter and he wants you back just like just like a lamb you know he, he the you know the sheep they follow the shepherd and he is our shepherd you can read that in psalm 23 right uh and and he will be with you he'll bless you the rest of your di days the rest of your life and i just want to invite you that to come and know jesus and you believe me you will get another rapture dream or you'll get a rapture dream that is very encouraging because I got a second one and it was very encouraging and I know that he is waiting for me and I have to I want to follow him all the days of my life and this is my rapture dream with a warning please forgive 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 and so we all can be raptured in and see each other up in this in in the a supper of the lamb right and i say this and i leave you with this in the name of jesus christ be blessed and have a wonderful day